Well, the path to be the next governor of Florida comes through Orlando. Unity has become a major theme for both parties. And today, Democratic candidates for two of the most prized races in the midterm elections joined other Florida Democrats to kick off the general election campaign. New Six's Clay Lapar joins us now from Orlando Live. Clay, Democratic nominee for governor Andrew Gillum and U.S. Senator Bill Nelson, those obviously were the headliners of this rally. Matt, they were, and crews have just finished cleaning up that stage that they were using for this rally. Democrats here in Florida used today's event as a chance to unite the party across some of those prominent statewide races. We're going to do everything within our power to make this state a state that works for all of us. In front of a packed house inside the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades, Local 1010, a team of Democratic contenders rallied this crowd, including gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum and incumbent Senator Bill Nelson. Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis wants to run us the other direction. They have made very clear they have made very clear their politics of division and derision and separation. But I want to let them know that on November 6th, we are going to send an unquestionable message, not just here in the state of Florida, but to the nation's capital, and it will reverberate around the world. All leading up to an election that is attracting the national spotlight and record-breaking fundraising. There's only two months before early voting starts in Florida. News 6 political expert Jim Clark says Gillum and Nelson are an unlikely pair, standing opposite ends of their party's platform and 36 years apart in age. They are very different people, but obviously Nelson, who's fairly low-key, not Mr. Excitement is hoping that Andrew Gillum can fire up voters and get them to the polls. The event also featured some familiar faces as former gubernatorial candidates Gwen Graham, Philip Levine and Chris King also rallied behind Gillum and the rest of the Democratic ticket. And for, those, and for those of you keeping track at home, early voting starts in just about two months with the election just 10 weeks away. In Orlando, Clay Lepard, News 6. It is coming quickly, Clay. Thank you. As for Gillum's opponent, Republican Ron DeSantis' camp has been relatively quiet today. This morning he did tweet this. Socialist policies have failed time and time again. That's fright What's frightening is that far-left liberals like Andrew Gillum think they'll work for our state. Retweet if you agree that socialism is not what Florida needs.